Welcome back to the photography review video. This is part two. You've probably come from part one. If you haven't seen part one, go check out part one right now. Basically, you sent me your pictures on Twitter. I've reviewed them, given you feedback in the last video. I'm doing the same thing in this video. Let's go. So we have a picture from Kelsey and this is absolutely incredible. This is a black and white picture of two mugs with an angel of some sort in one of the mugs. This is really artistic, the edit is really good, the filter's nice. Overall, really, really solid work. I don't know how to improve on that. That's really cool work. Well done, Kelsey. This is incredible. The character portrayal in this is amazing. You can really sense the energy and the feeling and the atmosphere of these two people. The colors are incredible. I love the fact that you've got this red spilling into the photo. It's really cool. To fix it though, I'd probably just fix up the framing a touch, but other than that though, this picture is really cool. I love the fact that you've caught the energy. Okay, so the next photo is of this adorable, adorable kitten. It's a really cute image. However, to improve on it, I would probably like the kitten to be in focus. I mean, I like the fact that the grass is in focus, but I think it would be really cool if you caught the eyes of the cat in focus because you'd really capture that character and the adorableness of the kitten even more. But overall though, it's a really cute image and I know how difficult it is to photograph animals, so amazing work anyway. Okay, so the next shot is a black and white city shot and this is absolutely beautiful. I wanna say that's Chicago, right? You framed up the bean right in the center of the image and that composition is really beautiful. And I love the fact that you've got all these skyscrapers as well in the background because that's adding a lot of depth to the shot. However, to improve on this, I can notice that there is a skyscraper touching the top of the frame. So I'd probably just pull up my framing just a touch to make sure there was a little bit of headroom at the top. But other than that though, it's a really solid photo and I really think you did well on this. I have to say your colors are really gorgeous. It looks like you've used an app like VSEO or something because it's really got that Instagram look to it. It looks really cool. Uh, your caption says, I love photography, but I don't think I'm very good. I think you're very good. Just keep practicing, keep being amazing, and I promise you, if this is something that you want to do in life, and I guarantee you will do it if you do it enough. So don't doubt yourself. You are amazing, just keep practicing. This is really beautiful. The horizon is pretty straight. The colors in the sky are incredible. The silhouette of the character is really nice. Really solid work, like really solid work. I can't, I can't fault this, it's really good. Because we've got an amazing series of photos here from Kenzie, but I'm just gonna have a look at this first one here. Uh, this is really creative. It's a really creative use of framing. I love the fact that there's all these leaves around your model. It's really creative, really awesome. The exposure's nice. The saturation levels are really good. Um, I love the fact that the hand is up here because it's kind of fixing up the composition. Normally I'd say pull the head over to the center, but I love the fact that this hand here is just balancing out the frame. Really, really awesome work. Really can't fault it. Amazing work, Kenza. Okay, so we have a photo here from Phoenix and this is of the sunset. And the caption is, I have to use my tablet camera so it's not the best quality picture. It doesn't matter what camera you're using, it doesn't matter if you're using a tablet, a phone, a digital SLR, it doesn't matter what you're using. The most important thing is that you learn about framing and composition and exposure and all these different things at an early stage. And then when you improve later on down the line, you should be able to afford a digital SLR and all those skills you learn and your tablet camera, you can use on your big expensive digital SLR camera. So. Keep practicing it, keep doing it, and I promise you, if this is something you're interested in, you'll have a digital SLR in no time, and your quality of your pictures is gonna be insane. This second picture of your dog is incredible. I hope that wasn't a live railway track because that would be really dangerous, but either way, it's incredible photo. I love the fact that the leading lines are leading right up to the dog in the foreground. I kind of like the fact that the dog is looking away. Um, the, ba the black and white is really cool. It's a really good photo. It's a really solid photo, really good work. This is amazing and colorful. And I love the fact that the yellow is centered up nicely in the center. I love the fact that the yellow is surrounded by the darker green colors because the yellow really pops out. The darker greens almost add like a vignette effect to the background um, because my eyes just go straight towards this yellow flower, smack bang in the center of the frame. So really good job, really awesome. To improve on this, I'd probably say start experimenting with some low aperture photography. So if you're shooting on a digital SLR, try and get a, like, a, like a 50 millimeter lens, a 1.8 millimeter lens, drop your aperture down to like 1.8. Shoot the flat in focus and then the background would be completely blurry. If you don't have a digital SLR though, then try playing around with a few apps and blur at the background because this will make your foreground image pop even more. Okay, Jandy, um, great name. You have a really nice sunset picture here. Um, I love the fact that the house is silhouetted. I love the fact that the tree is silhouetted. And I love the colors in the sky. I'd probably boost the saturation a touch more. But overall though, that's really cool. I don't know what camera you shot that on, but it looks really cool. Um, great work, Jander. 
So the next series of photos is from Hannah. We've got four photos, all of them tell an amazing story. But the number four, the fourth one on this list is my absolute favorite. You've got this sunset, you've got the orange and the blue in the background. Those two colors contrasting each other, juxtaposing each other, look really beautiful. And then in the foreground, you've added another layer and you've focused on the raindrops on what appears to be a car window or a shop window or a window of some sort. The focusing on the raindrops gives you a lot of depth to the shot and the two juxtaposing colors in the background really work and they really make your image stand out. This is incredible work. Okay, we've got another amazing photo and this is another one of an adorable dog. This is incredible, really awesome. Love the fact that he's placed on this in the foreground. To fix this, again, I'd probably just fix up the composition a touch. I'd place that, that bollard right in the center of the frame. Um, but the colors are really nice and it's really sharp as well. Okay, so Shannon, you've got a really interesting foreground background mix. You've got love heart hands in the foreground and then you've got a sunset smack bang in the middle of those love heart hands. It looks like it's been shot on an iPhone. I can tell because the colors aren't popping. So I'd probably say use VSEO or Instagram and pull up your saturation and your vibrance to get those colors to pop out. Fix the horizon slightly. Other than that though, it's a really solid photo and I love the concept of this. That's really cool. Okay, so the next series of photos comes from Alexandrine. And you say you're a web magazine photographer and I can really honestly believe that because your work is incredible. And this last photo, the fourth photo, is my absolute favorite. Like the composition is incredible. The, the shutter speeds beautifully caught the hair flying back. The smoke on the left of the frame. You don't need my feedback. Your work is incredible. You're a very talented photographer. Just keep doing what you're doing because this is incredible work. Okay, we've got this beautiful picture of a tiger here. The composition's really cool. And the colors are really nice. It looks like you've used an app like VSEO as well to, to pop out those colors. The, the greens are really nice and the, the orange from the tiger really stands out as well. So great job color grading, great job on the photo. Really awesome photo here. Okay, so we've got a series of incredible photos from Akito. You've got so many incredible photos. I'm gonna go with the mountains. This mountain shot is incredible. It's really cool because you've got all these different layers within the mountains. You've got the mountain in the foreground, you've got them in the middle, you've got them in the background, and they kind of peel off into the distance and it keeps your eye traveling further and further into the photo. And I also love the fact that your image is straight. It's completely leveled off and looks really professional. Overall, it's really cool. I'd probably say, personally, I'd pull out the colors a little bit. I'd probably boost the saturation a touch. And I feel like this is slightly over sharpened for my personal taste, but overall, really, really solid photo. Now this next photo from Charlie is really awesome. I love the black and white filter. I love the fact that you've got the girl sat right in the center of the bench overlooking. It's really mysterious. It really makes you think about her backstory. Why is she there? Why is she looking into the lake so intensively? To fix on this though, I'd probably say just pull up the framing just a little bit again. Just make sure that you crop the left of it. Just make sure the crop on the right is the same as the crop on the left. But overall though, I love this photo. This is a really good example of a frame within a frame. It's really cool because my eyes are looking straight through this hole within the wall. Right away, my eyes are carried straight towards this building right in the center of the frame. So your composition straight away is amazing. 10 out of 10 for composition. Now this might be difficult because of the camera that you're using, but it would be nice to kind of pull down the exposure a touch in the background. Um, it's a little bit overexposed, especially in the sky, but this might be difficult if you were shooting this on a phone or a lower end digital SLR. So don't worry too much about that. Overall, the photo is really nice and I love the frame within a frame effect. I think that's really cool. Thank you to everybody that sent in your photo. It's absolutely incredible to see how many photographers and creatives are involved and part of this community now. There's such a range of photographers from beginners all the way up to professionals and the fact that everybody's commenting on each other's photos and replying and giving feedback is incredible. If we can learn from one another and inspire each other to become better people and better creatives then we're all going to grow and we're all going to get to where we want to be in life now if I didn't reply to your photo or give you feedback then I'm really sorry there were so many photos to go through but I really love seeing your work I love seeing your photography so let me know if you'd like to see one of these in the future and if you do then I would happily do this again if you enjoyed watching this video then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to stay updated on all future uploads thank you ever so much for watching I really do truly appreciate appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching.